Drake is still in the friend zone. Ellen Iverson is still broke. And Kevin Hart still has a sense of humor. You're watching The Drop. What's up, everybody? I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. So I am so excited because the Love & Hip Hop LA cast has finally been revealed. Look at this all-star D-list lineup. We have Soulja Boy, Omarion, Young Berg, Tierra Marie, Yessi Ortiz, Ray J, Lil Fizz. I'm excited to see the show because it's just such a unique cast. I'm it like, is. I don't, I don't really watch Love & Hip Hop, but this season, I may actually watch it. You're going to watch it, like, faithfully every Monday with me? Maybe not faithfully. I'll DVR oh, some of it. But. I feel like... Uh, I feel like it's gonna happen. You're gonna get addicted. You're gonna like it. And I'm it's gonna just... love it. It airs September 15th, BH1. I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. And I'm also excited to see the reunion shows with all of them. Like, oh, Marion and Ray J and Soldier Boy. What or, is that or Marion like? and Young Fizz or Lil Fizz. Lil Fizz. Lil Fizz. Young Damn, Fizz. it's so far gone. It's like Lil yeah, Fizz, one of Young them. Bird. Fizz, Soda yeah. Pop, whatever. Yeah. Aww. Wiz Khalifa's new album, Black Hollywood, just hit iTunes and stores everywhere. So high, so oh, I'm so sad, because here's the thing. I like Wiz Khalifa. He seems like he would be so nice and happy to be around. Love him and Amber together. Love their baby. This album was terrible. It just it sounded like he was about to say some really deep shit. He was leading into something. I nope. was like, okay, where are we going? No. Nope. But no, I mean, he just talks about smoking in different ways, and it's like, and nobody's that educated in smoking weed besides Except you, for you and Snoop. Exactly. Okay. He's like, and I mix the KK with the BJ in the C way, and the, okay. It's kind of. It, it was uncomfortable. Like, every song starts with puffing on that da da da, smoking on that blah blah blah. Like, it's getting played out. It's getting played out really fast. Uh, he does have a song I like on there called Ass Drop, which is like, hey, like, okay, it's a good, it's a good song. It'll get you five plays. Yeah. But we f with you, Wiz, you know? You know, you're a nice person from the outside looking in. I don't really know you, but you seem nice. All right, so there was reports going around the internet that Alan Iverson was outside of the Lennox Mall begging for change. But I will say, I don't think this story is true at all, and I'm not gonna believe it unless I see it on video, because I know that he's broke, but like, oh, he's not outside begging at the Lennox Mall. That's just ridiculous. Alan Iverson really don't need to beg for change. All he need to do is go to a park and teach how to cross over. Because we'll pay you. He should start okay. basketball classes. Because we'll pay you. At like a high school in Atlanta. He would make money. I'll, I'll swear, I will give Allen Iverson $10 to teach me something new. Like, come on. It's okay, Alan. I mean, he can charge more than that. I'm saying, like, think on a bigger scale. Don't just be on my block. Hey, yo, I got these basketball But he's begging $10. for change. He needs to start because he's oh, he's already low. Child support, lawsuits, kicking his ass. Bills kicking his ass. He just needs something. And all he has to do is make it to 55 because he gets $30 million from Reebok. That's Not some heavy that. shit to have on your conscience, though. I got to live to be 50. Five, so I can get thirty million dollars. To me, it just proves that like Reebok ain't shit. Cause y'all see him, y'all see that he could use the money. Like really, Reebok don't want to give him the money. I'm sure they don't. I'm, I'm wait. I bet they waiting for him to breach yeah, the contract. They really give him five, like every five years. You know, like come on, Reebok, come on. All right, next, Kevin Hart. Congratulations, he got engaged to his longtime girlfriend the same day that his ex-wife's new reality show, Atlanta X, is aired on TV. That sh is hilarious. It's so funny. So hilarious. I mean, it also happened to be his girlfriend's birthday, which just like worked out that way, but still. No, but that's probably what she tried to do. Tori probably tried to one-up her, oh, the show airs on her birthday. No, he was like, I'm one-up VH1 has control over that. Hey, but they probably was like, hey, let's do this, because VH1 executives are evil. Maybe, but no, I mean, I just think it's so funny to me because it completely stole all the shine from the show. It's like, yeah, you're an ex, but like, look at this rock. He's like, yeah, nah, this rock costs more than your show budget. For real. <laughs> Nico, you lucky bitch. Mm, he's short, but that ring he gave you, okay? <laughs> okay. What do you think about the new Love & Hip Hop LA cast? Are you gonna tune in and watch the show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to All Def Digital. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. See you tomorrow on The Drop.